Welcome, a very warm welcome today, humid welcome to the Supercar Diary, South African special today. I am sitting in a Lamborghini Urus and uh, it's the Estezo, which means it's the wide body version. And it's loud. As you still hear when I flick the switch. <laughs> There we go. Driving this car not just for the fact that it has a wide body, but we're driving it for the fact that a couple of other things have also been changed. One of the most important factors is the power upgrade that we Novi Tech put onto this car. I think standard form, you get about 640, 50 horsepower, 600, around about there, 641. We do a power upgrade that'll give this car 782 horsepower. 782. Let's flick it into sport mode. And this car has got a custom race exhaust system with a downpipe. That, my dear friends, is the reason. Estezo kit that I see where people have chosen not to have any carbon or exposed carbon rather in the setup and it looks rather odd to be honest it's a different kind of look found a little spot back close to one of the uh, old race locations you could see where we filmed the uh, Ferrari the 812 Superfast uh, the Enlargo version if you guys remember and if you haven't seen that it's probably one of the coolest videos that we have on the channel so top right hand side of the screen to see that film and we did some pictures over here you can understand why the Oaks don't really want people to come out here because they were hoying eh? look at these tire marks it's like kids with crayons in kindergarten. But we're not here because of that. We're here because we want to talk about the Uruz Estezo. First of all, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this all red version of the Estezo. And also about the fact that there's no exposed carbon fiber on it. 
personally I think that that's missing on this car. So in order, just to give you an idea, in case you don't know, and I'm sure you all do, you can have a lot of things personalized on your Urus Estezo. These little color bits over here and around here and so on and so forth at the back, the nomenclature of the Urus at the back, the, the Lamborghini text, that you can have all in a specific color. And we also, just behind our Novitec rims for this car, which I, in my humble opinion, prefer, although these Vossen rims do look really nice, but we also do the same color scheme for the brake calipers and them, of course, hiding right behind those Novitec rims. The bonnet on this car, as you can see, there's no exposed carbon. Back in Germany at Easy uh, Outdoor House, we filmed a red Urus Estezo with forged carbon fiber. So I'll see if we can throw in some of those pictures for you guys. But this bonnet, very plain, as opposed to the carbon fiber visible one in forged on that other car. These bits that you get here in plastic, you can have them also in carbon fiber. And I find that it's a beautiful addition, even on that red one, not sure if I would have a red Urus Estes or how about you? What is the color that you would choose? Black is nice and black with carbon fiber is even nicer. -er. Now we get towards the side over here, the sides, because obviously the Urus being a much wider car that growing over the shoulder of this car. But when we get to the rear, you got this piece over here and then the lip over here. All body color, find it a bit meh as opposed to seeing this and this invisible carbon fiber, as well as the part behind the nomenclature, having that in carbon fiber. Looks really, really good. supercar that you can date here in South Africa. Definitely. It is just such an all-rounder and the boot space in the back. Easily got space for three bodies. Easily. But it, it's a different class of, of enjoyment because you're sitting high up. You can feel there's more weight. The car behaves differently but there's an agility that it has not lost. You don't get nervous when you're throwing this car into a corner and I'm yet to know the extent of which one can do that. Obviously in uh, real-time traffic that's not what we're going to do but every now and then a hard break into a corner nose dipping you can just feel the back getting a little bit edgy at a higher pace but it's stunning it's just stunning because a lot of people think okay if i'm going to have the wide body put on and of course the wheels that fit that profile and the sound and the power that i'm going to be losing out on the other capabilities that the rules have to, has to offer but that really isn't the case you retain all the characteristics of this car in its natural state, lifting the suspension, so on and so forth, because it has a lowering module. So it commands the car to go lower when it's supposed to. But if you want to drive off-road, or if it's snowing, or if it's raining, or it's muddy, then you can still tell it to go up, and it will, and it'll totally behave like an SUV. <laughs> thing that I find about the Urus uh, is when you up change and you play with your right foot then you can actually get it to make a really nice <laughs> it sort of does a bit of an extra spit over here. <laughs> drive it in normal straight 
Strada in auto. That's what I love about the Novitech exhaust system is that you have that neighborhood friendly switch, you know? If you don't want to be ludicrous, click the switch, listen to that. It's still loud, even though it's not as loud as in sport. Okay, no, it's not that loud. Okay, it is that loud. Can't make up my mind. That is still loud. We're sitting in here, let's just look down the window. Yeah, that is very loud still. That is it. When we're talking about the visibilities of this Estezo, but said, it still looks much better than a non-Estezo version. Once you've seen Estezo, once you've driven Estezo, once you've felt it, once you've been in its presence, talking as if it's a wild animal, it's very hard to go back to a non-Estezo version. Also in that one film with the red Estezo and the forged carbon fiber at Easy Auto House, there was a purple one in Lamborghini purple that had the full carbon package, but it's not an Estezo. So you can go and have a look at that. If you say, I want to do Novitech, but I don't necessarily want to look buff like that, then please go and have a look top right hand side of the screen. Very quick images on that car. Looks really, really good as well. But my heart would beat for this. Would you daily an Estezo? Would you actually accept that challenge? Do you think that can work? Because here in South Africa, I can't really find a car that'll give you both impeccable performance, safety, capability, as well as be able to deal with the kind of roads that we have over here than this. I think that's just the most perfect car that you can have in South Africa. It'll take you everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for this video. Thank you so much, Zach from Santon Supercars for managing the camera behind which he's standing at this point in time. And also thank you so much to Race, who have so kindly accepted us into their new showrooms and shown us around, allowed us to spend the entire week there and also to do a whole bunch of organization for us to get hold of these cars. If you guys haven't yet, you can pop over onto our YouTube channel, subscribe, like our videos, give us some comments, let us know what you'd like to see, let us know what you would like to have as your own personal, or as you could also follow us on Instagram, that's me personally at Beyond the Cock, Novitech at Novitech Group, race one underscore for race, and Zach from Santon Supercars. Until next time, see you guys and stay safe. Ciao.